Hi everyone, it's Heather here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a video about a journal cover I made at the weekend. I was having a bit of a play. Now I might have mentioned in a previous video that I had um, changed one of the uh, rooms in our house. So we have a playroom in our house and it was a bit of a dumping ground but um, I decided to give it a bit of a um, spring clean and I put some racking up in there and I moved my um, equipment like my sewing machine and my embellisher into that room and my overlocker um, and it's made a really nice environment to have a bit of a play in because I don't get to play very often. Um, this doing this type of journaling is actually um, a bit of a hobby really um, it's more of a sort of creative outlet although it is actually part of my business it's not the thing that I do all the time so it's really nice to have a bit of a play and it's really nice to have the area nice and tidy so that I could actually do something creative <coughs> at the weekend so I made this journal cover um, and this is using a sketch of um, a face that I did uh, quite a few years ago now um, but I scanned it in so it's um, I've got it as a digital version it was originally done with um, pencils uh, which is um, my normal preferred medium when it comes to um, creating art um, but I'm, obviously I'm trying to do a little bit more mixed media so that has been transformed into um, a digital print um, and I printed it out onto um, fabric. I used cotton sheeting and um, I thought it came out really well. I'll show you the... I've done another version because I'm actually going to do a workshop um, using a uh, different method to this but I thought it would be fun so I've printed off um, another version of this as well so this one is um, just printed on cotton sheeting this one actually has um, some sort of stiffer uh, fabric underneath it um, a stabiliser, iron stabiliser but basically this is what I started with um, and uh, I didn't actually, I was going to do it originally on the sheet I was going to use the the different elements on the sheet itself but then I decided not to do that with this particular one so I actually cut around the face instead and I got it ready to apply to another sheet so then I started with a blank um, piece of uh, sheeting fabric so that is just uh, cotton sheeting fabric in sort of an ivory colour and I open this up for you I took a lot of pieces of fabric that I thought went nicely together. I love purples so I got lots of scrap fabric and some ribbons and some yarn um, and this is um, felt um, wool roving or wool top wool tops and in a cream colour. I don't actually have many colours I actually got rid of most of my um, felting supplies because I didn't actually do a great deal I only use them in certain circumstances so I got rid of a lot of the different colours that I had uh, so now I was um, restricted to some very neutral shades so I might have to get some more now I'm sort of rediscovering felting again uh, this is wool, wool blend fabric and um, there's some acrylic uh, fabric uh, mainly old jumpers have been cut up um, and some cashmere uh, and then there's a little bit of netting, um, some lace and some um, sort of a shimmery, I don't know what you actually call that, it's almost um, it's sort of a bit like a lining fabric or um, it's like organza but it's not organza but um, it's very pretty, I don't know whether you can see that, it's sort of a very shimmery colour and I laid it all out and then used a net to cover the top of it and then I took it down to my embellisher and I basically needle punched the little scraps of fabric and the roving into the, um, the piece of sheeting and I used the embellishing machine obviously for that. Now I'll cut in a moment to a clip of the embellisher so you can see what that looks like but I'm not actually going to show you any embellishing today because um, it, it's um, my playroom at the moment is 
has been taken over with Sylvanian family so I'm not using it right at this second but I will cut to a clip and I'll show you what the embellisher looks like. So basically the embellisher is a felting machine it's got lots of little needles and it punches through the fabric and makes the fabric sort of go into the fabric that's underneath it um, just like you would if you were needle felting but it's just a bit um, it is a machine it's just got more needles basically so there's no thread involved in that side of things so I did that I um, felted the scraps onto the single sheet um, and then I um, I did lose quite a few pieces because what I didn't do like a wally I didn't actually pin my netting onto my um, fabric so I did sort of keep dropping little bits out of it so there's a tip if you do that then when you have your netting on top make sure that you pin it down and that way you don't lose as many scraps underneath it so that's why in certain areas the the stuff shifted and it looked different completely different to how it I was I laid it out to start with um, so when I'd done that I then thought I wanted to add a little bit of more interest so the felting machine the, the embellisher does it sticks the fabric into your base fabric um, but you could pull it off if you wanted to so to secure the fabric down even more and to um, give it a bit more interest I did some um, I think it's called is it free machine embroidery so where you take your normal sewing foot off your machine and use a darning foot and then you can you drop your feed dogs um, set your stitch length to zero and then you just you basically just so wherever you want to go on the machine so that you're not restricted sort of by the the foot and the feed dogs and you can see that I've sort of added lots of wavy lines and swirls the idea was it was supposed to be sort of a swirling mind um, of this particular girl that was my thought pattern when I was doing it um, so when I'd done all that I then um, stitched I cut the lady out, the lady's face out, and stitched that down using the same uh, free motion uh, embroidery using the machine. Um, and then I just backed it on a piece of very stiff felt. Um, and this is just stuff that I happen to have in. It's very stiff acrylic um, craft felt that I get in very, very large sheets, something about eight. A2, A1 sheets, I don't know, I can't remember now anyway, they're massive, most of them are cut up now um, so it's got a beautiful texture, the surface of the journal is lovely because it's very soft in places and there's a lot of movement because of the um, the stitching and the fact that the um, fabric is all little random pieces so it, I actually got the desired outcome. It wasn't exactly as I laid it out to start with, but it certainly did um, give the the impression that I wanted to. So it's sort of a swirling mind. It's the, supposed to be the mind of the character on the front of the book. Um, and using purple, um, I think it's the crown chakra, isn't it? But I could be saying something completely wrong there. Um, I was thinking the, the purple and... Um, sort of almost mystical type colours that I was using. So that was my thought process and that's what I ended up with. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I absolutely love it and I will be using it as a journal cover. So i just got to uh, decide um, about the signature now um, and attaching that inside. So I thought I'd show you anyway. I'm sorry that was a bit of a rambly video um, trying to get my words out how I was going to explain how I made this. Um, you've got to see it really. Uh, so what I'll do is insert a clip now into the video to show you the embellisher machine so that you can see what that looks like and then you might sort of understand um, what that is. Um, and, and then that's it. So I'm going to say bye now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and seeing the creativity that I did this weekend. I will be doing another video soon because what I do want to do is a project with this one um, and I'd really like to do a tutorial for people to follow along. So um, I'll have this doll face as she is um, 
linked in the Etsy shop so if anyone wanted to follow along on the tutorial that I'm going to be doing you'll be able to do that because you'll be able to print them out yourself. Um, so thanks very much for joining me and um, look out for that clip of the embellisher coming up soon. Take care. Bye. Okay so as promised I'm showing you my embellisher which is a 12 needle felting machine um, but they are also called embellishers. Um, and th mine's by Simplicity, it's not an expensive one, my husband bought it for me for my birthday I think some years ago and I haven't had a huge amount of use out of it but it is fun, it's just I don't get to play a great deal. Now you can see there that that's the, um, the guard and it has some um, holes in the bottom there and that's where the needles go, you can see that there are lots of needles there and they're very very sharp and they go up and down very very quickly. I'm not going to turn the machine on because I've literally just brought it up to my ph photography area just to show you. Um, but they're very very sharp and they're barbed so they just knit the fabric together basically by punching it together just like you would with um, a normal needle felting kit you'd sort of stab it with the barbed needle. And this has just got 12 of them and that's basically what a needle felting embellisher is. So the embellisher, that's just another name for this particular machine that seems to have stuck in my head. So there you go and that's the um, that's the machine I use to make the or one of the stages of the uh, cover for, for the journal that I showed you. So cheerio for now and I'll see you in the next video.